I'm Wyatt Cash with Scoop News Group, and we're here at FedScoop's IT Mod Talks with Jason Schulman, Vice President, Civilian and Law Enforcement at Lumen. Uh, Jason, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Wyatt, for having me. So as you know, we're a bit more than a year now into the Biden administration, and I'm curious to get your take on where you've seen some of the greatest progress in IT modernization in the federal government. You know, I think the, the greatest progress we can see in IT modernization really focus around our national cybersecurity posture. Uh, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic has made it clear that the future of work is hybrid. And while this offers several benefits to government employees, uh, it really requires agencies to think uh, differently and critically about their network architecture. Uh, the number of devices and digital endpoints and connected uh, security is, is proliferated right all across uh, the network and it's really changed the attack surface uh, dramatically. Um, so data now more than ever needs to be protected. Uh, the Biden administration uh, has really formalized the necessary steps required for agencies to move towards a zero trust network architecture. So well, um, following up on that idea, how would you say that IT modernization has helped federal agencies get a better handle on securing their most valuable systems? You know, agencies have really begun embracing an as a service framework. Uh, you know, if there's one thing that IT leaders uh, have learned since their employees began working from home back in March, 2020, it's that many government networks really weren't designed to operate at the level and scale required for a global pandemic. Uh, so with remote access being the norm, um, agencies have been really forced to review their critical assets, but more importantly, uh, understand who requires access to them. Uh, and this shift has really led to two significant changes, uh, secure access, secure edge, SASE technologies, along with zero trust architecture principles. Um, you know, this consumption-based model I referenced earlier, um, it's really accelerated IT modernization. Um, it's allowed the flexibility and scale without government agencies having to uh, dedicate their own resources. Some great points. Uh, next, let me ask, you know, the White House also issued an executive order on the customer experience. And so I'd be interested in your thoughts about how federal agencies are taking uh, constructive steps to deliver better digital services to American citizens. Yeah, this is a, this is a great executive order. It really focuses on the customer experience. And you know, we've seen federal agencies um, start implementing services to the edge uh, using like edge cloud uh, technologies. And this is really putting data closer to the digital interaction. Now, this is really important uh, when applications are being used where milliseconds matter. Uh, and, and I'll give you an example. Lumen is the internet service provider of the US Postal Service. And in working with the Postal Service to increase network services in anticipation of the administration's uh, free COVID-19 test kits. The Postal Service required a stable and secure um, you know, in-network service uh, during the program's launch. Uh, they were responsible for the registration and the tracking uh, and the distribution of COVID-19 kits uh, to, to all uh, US citizens. Um, you know, I think this is a great example of uh, serving this executive order, uh, delivering a better digital experience to American citizens Lumen's a proud partner of the U.S. Postal Service and even more proud to be serving mission. I really appreciate you sharing that example with our viewers. Um, and then lastly, Jason, um, you get to see a, kind of a wide view of the federal landscape. Uh, what across that IT landscape stands out to you as having the biggest potential for modernization or maybe the biggest need in coming years? You know, I think the biggest potential can be found in uh, operational technology. Um, historically, OT systems, operational technology systems, have been air-gapped or logically separated from, from IT systems. Um, IT networks really focus on data, where OT networks really focus on process. Um, and as these networks begin to converge, um, I think there's a lot of benefits, right? And some of those include um, remote access monitoring, uh, analyzing performance metrics uh, and outputs, but probably most importantly is automated decision-making. Um, this is where artificial intelligence and machine learning can be used to really extract the value out of the internet of things. 
I mean, I think that's where the biggest potential uh, can be found in the coming years. Well, Jason Schulman, thank you so much for sharing those examples and really sharing some of your insights as well on IT modernization in the federal government. Thanks for having me. And look for more of our coverage on IT modernization on fedscoop.com. Thanks for joining us.